because I'm a stud. I'm ballsy. I don't take no shit from anyone. I smoke my stogie with ash holes. I don't have to find a hideout place like you. <laughs> Today we will be reviewing something really nice I got from my boy, The Cigar Guy, okay, on Instagram. He hooked me up with one of these. We're smoking the Padron 89 Black. Ba -ba -ba. Things about the 89 Black that's really interesting. Padron doesn't really tell you much about the leaves that are used in the cigar. I couldn't find much information about it, but it's definitely quite unique. Uh, when it comes to Padrones, for number one, it is round. Usually Padron likes to use uh, their box press cigar. So this is actually quite different and unique. The only other cigar that I can remember that was a round cigar made by Padron would probably be the 90 series. So this is the 89. Kind of makes sense. It does come in uh, natural and Maduro, and today we are going to be smoking the Maduro variety, which I'm excited about because I love the Maduro. But one thing I do want to mention about this smoke is that... It's supposed to be a mix of their Thousand Series and their anniversary, anniversary Series, something in the middle, you know what I mean? So, I don't know what the fuck that means, but the 64 Anniversaries are my favorite, so let's get this party started! What a nice, well-fermented wrapper. Oh, smells very uh, sour and woody. Almost like some wet wood, you know what I mean? That's what the wrapper smells like. Oh, and very nutty. Oh. Very, very very nutty filler. So we got like a sour woody wrapper and nut filler. Wet wood and nut. Draw is really good. Very nutty and sweet. Also very earthy. It's got a very, very interesting earthy taste. I can't place my finger on it. Let me think on it. Yeah, it tastes very nutty. Almost like cashews and uh, it's a little sweet like cinnamon. But on the on the on the back on the back end, you could definitely taste a little bit of earthiness as well, which is nice. A uh, lot of lot of lot of different levels to this one. Uh, right in the beginning too, and I think that's very nice. Definitely a very 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 smooth Padron, especially for Maduro, at least for now. Definitely tastes much different than that of Rosario, which is good. Good good smoke. Um, the, the sweetness went away almost immediately. Um, it's got a very interesting earthy taste with a nice little vegetable taste, almost like a celery, like a little bit, little bit into that bitterness that you get when you bite into a stalk of celery with a nice dull earthiness. And I know it was woody, woody before, and still there is a dull, like oaky woodiness, but the most predominant flavor right now is pepper earth and it's definitely getting pretty spicy spicy it's about another two inches down i still like the 64 maduros better i feel like they have a more of a complex flavor because the flavor of the cigar did kind of tone down a little bit um it's not as complex as what i would expect from a from a padron but here i'll put it to you this way um when I read that this is a mix between the Padron Thousand Series and the 64 anniversary anniversaries. I, I I see it now because it it does have a little extra depth, more than the Thousand Series, but not as much as the Anniversary Series. So that's where that kind of border starts. You know what I mean? But still a good smoke. A lot of uh, a lot of pepper towards the end. Look, I have a break coming up to the band. Oh man, and also the earthiness is turning. Hey, Dad, what's up, man? <laughs> and and the, the the earthiness, I could say, ramped up a little bit, but to a point where it turned into a nice leatheriness as well. So, I've been saying that a lot, and I want you to understand what that means is that there's evolution here. It changes back and forth. Earth, leather, earth, leather, nut. Jumps in sometimes. Sometimes a little sweetness. This cigar will keep you guessing, and that is why it is a phenomenal stick because you never get bored. All right, guys, I'm done with the smoke, so let's do a quick recap. Uh, it, it has the great strength and flavor of the Thousand Series, 
but also has some of the depth of the anniversary, which is nice. It is literally right in the middle of this. Um, it's like a, it's like it's like right a, a middle smoke, and it's also priced about the same. You know, like something in between a thousand and an anniversary. The question is, what's uh, what, you know, is it worth it? Is it worth the whatever sixteen dollars I paid for it? I think it is. I think once you smoke the Padron 64, the Maduro's a lot, you get used to the flavor, and I think it's a nice mix-up to have these 89 blacks because it is a bit different, but also the same. You know, it's like the interview. Same, same, but different, but still same. Last part of the video, do I think it's worth it? Yes, it's worth a try. Try this new Padron. It's different. That's what we all want in life, variety. So, if you want a little variety, try that shit. And already out. And already out. Boom. I love cigars. Blah, blah, blah.